Look at that, we're organized. We have always dreamt of this. <laughs> Look at that. You can actually access heavy things. Yes. This well works. done, Job. Well done, Job. Well done, Rob. Job well done, Rob. <laughs> hey there. Oh, you're in nice light. Is, see? The light's so beautiful right now. And the kitchen stays bright now. You'd swear we were facing west. <laughs> we're facing east. East. We're just getting reflected light off the other building. Thank you, neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today's project is not totally uh, connected to the kitchen, but it's part of our general neatening and cleaning process. So over here, over here, we have a big mess of shoes and stuff. We ordered, where'd it go? A shoe bench, a bench with space for shoes underneath it. So I'm gonna put that together today and that'll be one more little task out of the way. So meanwhile, Nadia's reinitiated her sourdough baking. I really missed it. <laughs> where'd you go? There we go. I really, really missed it. Tito's. So, dozer, dozer into box. And uh, that's proceeding along. One of them is for our neighbor as a thank you for helping us during the reno. <laughs> Easy. Have a seat on the bench. Oh, so cute. It's nice and sturdy. Oh, this is good. Yeah. I wouldn't walk back and forth on it, but... No, but this is good. This is better than the one that we saw at Ikea. Yeah. I like it. There's room to put shoes, so we put our everyday stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. Finally got a bench. Yes, we've been talking about this for a long time. Those are not mouse turds. Those are coffee beans. <laughs> We're moving. Sneaky little bugger. <laughs> We're doing anything to avoid being crushed. <laughs> That's a lot of coffee. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go and get the dust from our new storage spot. Yep. Which, honestly, I've been very thankful for. I've been using this a lot. This is the temporary home of our microwave. As soon as <laughs> Rob removed the microwave, we found little- We to buy coffee for a week. <laughs> so recently we upgraded our butane burner. Isn't it nice? Twists and locks into place. And it's hot. It's very hot, I can feel it from here. Yeah. So while the kitchen will be out of commission for the week or so, We'll be using our beauty burner, microwave, and toaster oven. Lived that way for five years. Yeah. And both of us still need our coffee and tea. It's very, very important. All right. That took no time at all. <laughs> Everything is cleared off. Whew. So tomorrow we're going to unhook the oven or the stove, take out the sinks. We're going to lose water here. You know, we would, no stove to cook on. And we have good news. We have range hood and stove arriving next week on Tuesday. So I think what I'm going to do right now is mix up that epoxy. Yeah. And just fill in this crack. Is that the only crack we have? It is. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And if I recall, this crack happened 
when we moved this slab from my old studio to this one. Um, so it stayed pretty stable. <laughs> it stayed very stable. It's just gotten, concrete's gotten messy. and At the backs where the water tends to flow, it's gotten quite porous. It's gotten patina. Yeah, lots of patina. Yeah, I mean, we are going to lose the kitchen for about a week. But that's okay. We have stationed ourselves right here. Toaster oven, microwave, butane burner, coffee station, miscellaneous. top and now we're basically going to decommission the kitchen yeah so we can start working on these countertops to get them refinished <clears throat> this one and this uh, one as well yeah which uh it's not a huge amount of countertop space but it has to be done we have to layer on like three layers of the concrete the ovation first step is three layers of finale which is a concrete compound. It's a two-part epoxy kind of compound. Mm -hmm. So we'll mix that and then apply it in thin layers. Um, the, <coughs> the instructions say a layer about the thickness of a credit card. <laughs> so we'll be pulling out the credit cards to check. <laughs> and then once that's all done, it, and it has to harden overnight between each coat, so it's gonna take a couple of days. And then once that's done, we have to leave it 24 hours and then we can apply this countertop sealer. Again, it's a two part, there's another half over there. It's an epoxy sealer, totally heat proof, long lasting. Apparently this is like the best in the business. So that's the program. And meanwhile, our, fri our stove and hood are on their way. Uh, they'll be here next Tuesday. So we're going to take out this stove because we need to get access to the ends of the counters anyway. So we're going to remove the stove, disconnect it and remove it. And then once we're done with the countertop, <clears throat> we can have the new stove reconnected and installed. Uh, meanwhile, I'll do the hood because it'll be easier to do the hood without the stove. So today, first step, because we have to, before we do the countertops, we need to sand them down a little bit, get any surface dirt and grime and God knows what else off. And the first step to doing that is to remove the old sink. Which and then we're not going to be able to use the kitchen sink. Kitchen sink is going to be out of, out, zero, oh, 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 out of office <laughs> for a little while. Um, and I'm also going to have to get the template for the new sink and round off, I believe I'm just gonna have to round off the corners of the opening to so. accommodate the new sink. Yeah. And hopefully I can do that without filling the whole house with concrete dust. Yeah. So, that's the plan. Mm -hmm. Water is off. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's gonna be the best way to do this. <laughs> Okay. 
And the brick. And the brick. The brick. The all-important brick. The dishwasher drain comes in here. So that's going to continue to work. Do you want to turn it with a different wrench? No, it's. I just can't quite get a grip on it. Yeah, no, it's very flat. I just can't. Turning it this way is tightening or loosening. I'm not sure what direction you're going. I'm going that way. That it should be tightening. It's tightening. Oh. There you go. I was wondering why it wasn't working. <laughs> Ladies can do this too. Oh yeah. Okay. It's a good thing I've been doing those ab workouts lately. So the two-person sink removal system. It takes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, three. <sighs> yeah. No, it takes two wrenches. Did right? You don't want me to move yep. it? And I'll reach in. out of something. <laughs> Sink is loose. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Where's the baby go? Yeah, that's gonna be a big thing. <laughs> that's why it's good to be a vinyl flooring. <sighs> Sink is out. Look at that hole is. I know. We're gonna I, have a, I have a funny feeling I'm going to have to cut all of this. Ouch, that's still hot. So it looks like we first need to take care of the sink area, clean things up. <laughs> uh, we basically need to square off these corners. Yeah, it seems that the length the width. Or the width is fine. So we just need to square it off from here. Is it up to this line here? Probably, yeah. And we need some, I mean, that's years of. Mm, years of stuff. yarn. Hmm. You have a concrete cutter this time, right? I have what's supposed to be a concrete blade for my saw. Should we try that now? See what it's like? Yeah, before we clean, might as well. Yeah. Oh, Do yeah. you want me to hold the vacuum while you're doing it? Okay. So, uh, do you want another piece of plastic? Sure. Just break in case we need it for the future. <laughs> I'm 
don't even know what we'd be able to use it for. <laughs> um, we should. We could brush our teeth with it. <laughs> I suppose <laughs> they really got it down. Well, cement wool is very abrasive. Look at that. Yeah. That's just where the concrete hit it. Yeah, that's right. The concrete is strong stuff, not easy to cut. No. So my plan is to use the circular saw yeah. to cut the straight lines okay. to the corners. Okay. Then I'm going to use the jigsaw with a wood blade to cut what I can to the wood to okay. where the concrete starts. Then I'll, and I'll do it on all four corners. Okay. And then I'll switch to the carbide blade, the diamond blade that'll have to cut through the wood and the concrete. Okay. Fun times. <laughs> that will be all four corners for each one of those. Yeah. So I've done this one. So now I'm going to cut this side here. Okay. So I'm going to be cutting towards us. Okay. <laughs> Hello! Hello! <laughs> oh my goodness. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Eddie, will this work? Yeah. This concrete is hard stuff. Well, it's lasted 30 years. Yeah, exactly. Well, these things, these are designed to cut through various material. That's what you do when you're ripping crap apart. But nothing cuts through the plastic packaging that these things come in. Except for the KitchenAid kitchen scissors. <laughs> cut corners are all squared off and it took one two three tools and a whole bunch of blades and pry bar and bye bye blades thank you for your service <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's pretty thick concrete pair it with wood that's how much we had to cut through well, well, let's let's just low, put the sink in place carefully and see what we need to do. And I can cut them off with a grinder if I have to. So everything is going in except the back ones. So the thing, the thing, the sink gonna is gonna fit. And it took a better part of our day. It's like 6.30 in the evening and we still have a crap ton of work to do. Yeah, it's funny, it isn't quite cake icing thickness. Hello, we are going to now start putting concrete on these counters here. All of that to get down. 